Hi there, I'm Paul and Wen. Welcome to the channel and today Wen is going to be talking about 10 things that she needs to or a Thai lady needs to have in a kitchen so that if you're bringing your Thai girlfriend to the UK you can get things ready for her so that she feels at home when she gets here. Yeah. Okay so that's coming up straight after this. Okay, when so ten things. Yeah. What do you want to start with? Mm, roti. roti. Roti is same powder. Roti. Do you want me to get it out while you explain yeah. it? Roti is we like to cooking and with with fire. Menu is fire and some menu is soup. Okay, when you fry. Yeah. When you fry, what sort of things would you fry? Uh, Pad Thai, uh, chicken with vegetable or pork with vegetable with fry. Okay, so if we you fry like that, any of them, you put some many of that soup. sauce in. Many soup. And soups. Yes. Okay, so okay. that's roti. Yeah. What's and next? Oyster sauce. Oyster, oyster sauce. sauce. Okay. This oyster sauce. Okay, so um, what would you use oyster sauce for? Yeah. This menu fry. Fry? Fry. Menu. I get anything you fry. Chicken, garlic with chili and vegetable or broccoli, carrot. It's many vegetables. Okay, so it's this for menu. vegetables yeah. as well. Okay, so okay. that's oyster it's sauce. Very, very delicious. Well, what we'll do is we'll put in the comments section below, we'll put a link to all these products. So if you're looking to get hold of them, you can find them very easily. So what's number three, when? Fish sauce. Fish sauce. Okay. Oh, you will see it's not Thai language. Because I buy at Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> and fish sauce will cooking with, you know, fine. Fried things it's again? Then will, it seem then will both. With menu, it's fine. Okay, menu. For, for fried foods, you quite often yeah. use oyster sauce yeah. and fish sauce. Yes, and some menu don't want fish sauce. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So what's next? Oh, soybean sauce. Soybean sauce. Okay, so this is number four, soybean sauce. Yes, yeah, soybean sauce. Okay. Uh, this menu is fine menu. Them like we like to boil is with oyster sauce together. Okay. Oyster sauce together and with roti. Okay. You can cook delicious if you have three. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah. all three of them yeah. really needed to make any food be right. And I'm sure you can them. you can cook it. It's delicious because you have no three. Yes, because you've got all three. Yeah. And if you haven't got one of those three then it will be not delicious according to a Thai lady. Is that right? Yeah, if okay. I cooking is still delicious. But you need all of them. Yeah, and okay. you need me to cooking. Well, yes. <laughs> Although to be fair, when we start making all the videos about how to cook all the Thai dishes, yeah. people will be able to try and do it for themselves. Oh, you can see, I will cooking so easy my style. No need to worry or step, 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 no need to worry. Yeah, we'll make it some yeah. nice easy videos for people to yeah. follow, won't we? Just open the fridge, what you have, and put in with your pan. Okay. Cooking, cooking. And you have three oyster sauce, soybean sauce, and roti. So delicious. And so you need all of them. Yeah. You need to have all them available. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so number five. I think number five is probably one of the most important things in Thai cooking. Yeah. So what's next? Chili. Chilies. The chili. Okay, and where did you get these chilies from? Thailand. You brought these with <laughs> you in your bag, didn't you? Big yes. pack of chilies. And are these spicy? Spicy? But not the same red chili. Red chilies are more yeah. spicy. Yeah. Okay, but these are a little bit yes. spicy. I'm hurry, that's why I take this green chili. Okay. Now if we 
didn't have chilies or someone didn't yeah. want to go out and buy yeah. fresh chilies all yes. the time what yes. else could they use it's crushed chili okay and that's crushed red and yeah. green a mixture yeah. of chilies isn't it yeah and you'll find that in lots of supermarkets as well as i'll put a link below for you yes and that will just make it you can choose to make things as spicy as you want then yeah but what sort of dishes might you use that in i use in with the pad thai Okay, so Some people with... like to eat spicy, can put in Pad Thai. Okay, so anything with noodles really, it could yes, be good for, can't noodle, it? Yes, and noodles, many noodles. Noodles, chicken noodles, pork noodles, Okay, and you can noodles. And you can make it as spicy or as not yeah. spicy as you want by yeah. how much chilli you then pour on. Yes. Whereas if it's chopped up and served in the meal, it's very hard to take out later or add to make more yeah. later. So that's where the crushed chilli can be useful. Then... Number six. Do you want me to lift this up while you explain it? Rice cooker. A rice cooker. Rice cooker. Why is this so important? Rice cooker important because Thai people is we we like to eat right every day. We like to eat like every day. Every day. That's okay. why we need rice cooker. Okay. And that's important. Rice cooker. We can make sticky rice. Okay, so this particular rice cooker, yeah. we've actually got a steamer at the top as yeah. well. So we can make things like sticky rice sticky. or... And this, many may know about fish. Fish, you put fish in here. Okay, so you vegetable. can do steamed fish or steamed vegetables mm. as well. Um, okay, carrot or Chinese cabbage. Chinese cabbage. Yes. Okay. And with the rice cooker, because I'd not come across one until last month, yeah. with the rice cooker, you basically put the rice and water in the bottom of the container, if I just show you. And the rice usually has a list of instructions as to how much water to put in, and you just put them together in the bottom of the bowl and turn the, the cooker to on, yeah. or to, to cook, and then it automatically cooks for the right amount of time and then we'll start heating the rice to keep it warm okay. and so they're very important aren't they yes important and next number seven number seven number seven okay now number seven bamboo bamboo streamer you're changing the order here yeah. aren't you okay yeah. <laughs> so number seven a bamboo steamer bamboo steamer you see, bamboo steamer. Now, the bamboo steamer you can use if you have any type of steamer at home, whether it's just a like a colander type steamer that you can put in a pan yeah. or a steamer like the rice cooker where you can use it. But why is that so important? Uh, this is important because uh, when we when when cooking sticky rice, we need to you have something for keep sticky rice. That's why I choose steamer. You put in sticky and with rice cooker in the top. Yes, in the top. Okay, and so you can't cook sticky rice the same way as you cook normal rice. So it's different because it has to be cooked and steamed. Yeah, okay, different. Okay, and is sticky rice very common in Thailand? Yeah. What sort? I of eat often. You eat often. And Isan, North East, in Thailand, we like to eat sticky rice. In my house, we eat every day, sticky rice every day. Okay. Yes. So that's a particular part of Thailand called Isan. Yes, the Isan. Northeast. Yes, we like that. Okay, and will you eat that with um, main lap. courses like beef and pork? Yes, beef, pork, chicken, lap. Do you okay. remember that? I, I do remember, yeah. yes. <laughs> so, in parts of Thailand where they don't eat sticky rice every day yes. with, with savoury foods like pork or beef or chicken, yes. what, what sort of foods might they eat sticky, um, sticky rice with then? Mango sticky rice. Okay, so that's like a dessert then, isn't it? Yes. Where they have it with mango yes. and what else? Mango and durian. Okay, you might do it with durian yes. as well. So you can have durian <laughs> sticky rice, but yes. you might find there's a bit of a smell with durian because <laughs> it's a very smelly fruit. Okay, so that's the the um, 
bamboo steamer for sticky rice. Yes. Okay, so what's next, Ton? Number eight. Mm. Garlic crusher. Garlic, garlic crusher. crusher. Okay, so this is a garlic crusher. And why might one of these be useful? Because when I'm cooking this menu, I need to cut garlic. And, and how would you do that at home? Uh, in Thailand? What? You get a butcher's knife, a big but thick and knife. knife. Yes, I put in bus and knife. Okay, so you put a butcher's knife yeah. on it and then crush it. Yes. And sometimes that can be a little bit dangerous, can't it? I I don't know in UK is that butcher is so dangerous. Okay, so what you can do here yeah. is just put the garlic yeah. in, and then as you squeeze, you get the garlic coming through. Yeah, easy. 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 Okay, so that's the garlic crusher, huh? Yeah. What's number nine? Number nine. Bok bok. A bok bok. A bok, bok. Okay. Now, this is where we have three different names for this, isn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah. Because in the UK, we'd have a very small bowl like this that we might use for crushing garlic or crushing chilies. And we call it a pestle and mortar. Mm -hmm. But you call them different things. I call it crook, crook, sa. Okay, so first of all, we have different names yeah. for it. And then if you get one in Thailand, it's not this size. Yeah. It's this size in Thailand. <laughs> it's just a little bit bigger. Yeah. Okay. So, so this is what you use. And what sort of foods would you use this for? Papaya salad. This favorite menu in Thailand. Uh, many people in Thailand, not not only not east. Okay, so not just in Isan, but yes, all of Thailand. Yes, all of Thailand. Like, like we eat som tam, or we call som tam. Which is papaya salad. Yes, the same. And you need something like this to cook it in? Yes. Okay. Oh, I think some people wonder. She take with Thailand in UK to UK. No. We we didn't bring this from Thailand. No. We bought this in the UK. Yes. <laughs> I cannot so bring. It was a bit heavy to put in our case, yes. so we brought this from Amazon in the yes. UK. But you use it most we use it a few times a week, don't you, to cook different yes. things. Yes, yes. Okay, and what's the so you call it a what was it, crock and crock, this crock and sa. Okay. And we'd call it a pestle and mortar. But there is a nickname in Thailand for it yes. as well. The other name that you bok, call bok. it? A bok bok, bok bok. And that's because of the sort of noise it makes <laughs> as you're making the papaya salad, isn't yeah. it? Okay. Okay. This important. If you have bok bok already. Okay, and the last, number 10. Number 10. Pickle. Pickle. Pickled. Pickle fish sauce. sauce. Okay. I, I was... You wonder it's not fish sauce, it's we make menu papaya salad, okay. som tam. Okay, so and it's a different so it's not the same as fish sauce, it's different. Different, different. Different. We cooking papaya salad and it's many menu about isan food. Isan food. Isan food is you can put in the soup mushroom. It's not look like soup. Mushroom in UK. Okay. Mushroom soup in UK. Looks different. Yes. We, okay. We, we put in. Okay, but it's useful for things like somtam or papaya salad. Yeah. But for a lot of dishes made in Isan in the northeast of yes. Thailand, it's very popular, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. So there are 10 things that if you are bringing a Thai lady to the UK or you want to start doing some Thai cooking in the UK yourself are essential really to have all of those to be able to cook Thai food to make it delicious and they're the things I'll put in the link below in case you want to find them for yourself online to order and I think thank you very much Han that's been really yes. helpful and I'm sure people when they start watching your cooking menu uh, videos as well yes. We'll be able to start seeing how yeah. you use all of these things to make some delicious Thai food. Yeah, you will see. So easy. Don't worry about Thai menu. It's so easy. 
you will love it. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you have liked it, please click the like button. And if you have a question, you can ask. Yeah, put it in the comments below yes. and we can answer any questions. Yes. And if you like our video channel, then please subscribe and click the bell icon as well. And then you'll be notified when we put any more videos out. Thank you for watching. Okay, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay.